How you guys doing? Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to SB252. So the Oakland Raiders have just fired Jack Del Rio and they actually just had given him an extension last offseason, but they've seen enough of him. He wasn't there very long, but now I guess they say it's time. Derek Carr, obviously the quarterback, got that extension himself just this season, got $125 million. We're talking about a football squad that had high expectations and possibly expected to go to the Super Bowl this year. I know they had the Patriots in their way, but some thought that that's where they may end up come February. Well, guess what? They're not even going to make the playoffs, finish the season, like I said, 6-10 and 10 on the year. They were 12-4 and four last year. Derek Carr had this team rolling. Oka made the playoffs for the first time in a while, but Derek Carr broke his leg at the end of the season. That hurt Raiders fans a lot. That was very painful to watch. Thankfully, he had the recovery, but that season, that we knew they were done, went to the playoffs and lost in the first round against the Houston Texans with Connor Cook. Now, they did have the Defensive Player of the Year last year in Khalil Mack. He's a good player, but other than him, where is the defense? In fact, the defense has been so bad this year that they decided to fire Ken Norton Jr. They were averaging, they were allowing 350 yards plus per game, over 23 points per game. That's just not going to cut it in Oakland because it's clearly not the offense in Derek Carr. 28 touchdowns and 6 interceptions last year. Great numbers this year. Not bad. Over 3,000 passing yards again. 21 touchdowns to only 12 interceptions. The stats aren't as good, but at the same time, not bad. Again, the defense has got to figure a way to be good. And that's supposed to be Jack Del Rio's strong suit. And even though it's supposed to be a strong suit, the defense has still struggled. And also, Amari Cooper has got to become more shorthanded in some of his catches. Obviously, a very, very talented receiver out of Alabama, but there's times where he just clearly drops the ball. We all know they didn't win the division last year because of a Thursday night game in which the NFL should have never scheduled. Anyway, they lost the division, couldn't get what they wanted, and then this year, had a chance. No excuses, a 1 o'clock game against Kansas City in Arrowhead Stadium, and they just laid an egg and lost the game. That's clearly on the head coach. you got to be ready for that. We all know they won that first game on Thursday night against Kansas City with the amazing comeback to salvage their season. We know Derek Carr missed that one game this season, and it caused them to lose a game against Baltimore, a critical early game in the season, which really turned the tides in the whole year. But in a poor conference, excuse me, in a poor division, they still had a chance to win the division and came up short. We think about times during the course of the year, again, the defense failed them, but Derek Carr, where were you in Kansas City? At one point, we had Marshawn Lynch, who had more rushing yards than you had passing yards at that point of the game. Now, I'm not getting on Derek Carr. He's still a young quarterback, still needs to be developed. Very impressive what he's been able to do with the Oakland Raiders. And I really believe, with all the talk about them moving, since they are going to move to Las Vegas, that hurt the team too. That's clearly a distraction for this franchise. In fact, they're talking about getting John Gruden in to be the head coach and possibly they're going to lure him in by giving him a partial ownership which probably will only be about one percent or a small portion but at the same time that's going to be good for him that's a lot of money even one percent of a team is a lot of cash so will that cause him to leave his job at ESPN and go back and coach the Raiders who traded him to the Buccaneers way back in the early 2000s we'll see but the Oakland Raiders have decided to move on from their head coach not a bad head coach, had 25 wins with the Raiders, 22 losses. Not enough of a sample size. Is it too early to fire him? I believe so, man. I, I don't think this is a good decision at all, but we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for joining us. Talk to you guys later.